I'm going to show you how to set up the slicer for the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. At first, I was a little confused. It's like, does Elegoo have their own slicer or do I have to use Orca? I know for sure I'm not going to use something like Bamboo Studio because they kind of have that on lockdown. And we're going to answer all those questions in today's video because chances are you probably just bought one of these and you're setting it up. So what I did was I jumped into Google and I searched for Elegoo Slicer and I find the answer to this, right? And I got kind of confused because there's multiple slicers and I was like, what? So then I just jumped into ChatGPT and just asked it, is there multiple slicers and what are the differences? And it kind of broke this down for me. It said, if you're doing resin printing, Elegoo Satellite is that slicer. And if you're doing filament FDM printing, it's just called Elegoo Slicer. So what I'll do is I'll throw the exact link down below because it is this one right here. Then you have to click on 3D printing softwares. What I'll do is I'll put the exact link in the description down below. And uh, what you do is then you click on the, if you're looking to download this on Windows, click on that version for the slicing software. And then also um, you can do it for Mac as well. So if you have a Windows or Mac, just download whatever. It'll open up in your downloads folder and then you're just gonna obviously, you know, like it'll walk you through the installation process. And then once Elegoo Slicer is downloaded to your computer, this is what the app looks like right here. So I repeat, for your Centauri Carbon Elegoo 3D printer, you need to be using Elegoo Slicer. And again, I'll throw a link down in the description. I, this might seem too obvious to some, but I had issues with this. So then just double click on it and open it. Then what is probably going to happen is you're going to need to update it. A lot of times these download and then they're going to update, right? So then the next big issue I had was actually connecting the actual 3D printer itself. So if we go to full screen here, click on your device tab. This is where I also had issues. I clicked on the device tab to go and connect the printer, but there's this weird video that essentially gives you directions on how to find the IP address, but it was super confusing to me. So what I wanna do is just go down to the 3D printer and show you exactly how to do this. All right, so go to your 3D printer, the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. I'm excited to get this going. And then go to the display here. And what you need to do is make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi. So if this isn't lit up green, what you need to do is go into the settings here and then click on network and connect to your Wi-Fi network. And then what you need to do here, right in this exact location, see if I can zoom in and it'll, it'll focus. What you need to do though, you'll have an IP address right there. I'm gonna probably blur it for the video's sake so you don't jump into my machine like a crazy person. But write down this number or take a picture of it with your phone. Then we're gonna go back to the Elegoo slicer and connect this and that's gonna be how it connects. Next, what we wanna do is go back into Elegoo slicer here. And then we wanna go over to the prepare tab up here. And then where we select our printer here, we wanna go over to the Wi-Fi little icon. See it to the right there, then click on that, left click. And then what you wanna do is you want to, for the host type, choose Elegoo link. And then what you need to do is put that IP address in here. So I'm gonna put mine in and probably blur it on the video. And then click, um, you're supposed to click on test, but it doesn't allow you to do that. So what you, I had to figure this out the hard way. So what you need to do is actually left click down here then click on test and it says connection to Elegoo link is working correctly. So now the 3D printer is now connected to the Elegoo slicer that goes with the Elegoo Centauri carbon. This was low key, super annoying to figure out and I figured I'd do a video on helping people how to set up this Elegoo slicer for their Elegoo Centauri Carbon. I'm just gonna keep saying that a bunch of times. So, But hey, before that. you guys go, if you're somewhat new to this Elegoo Slicer, I have a full tutorial you can find right here on how to bring in your 3D print files, essentially how to do everything to do your first 3D print with the Elegoo Slicer. The video is right here, guys, so make sure you click it here. Ha ha ha, and don't forget to subscribe after that. Ha ha ha.